Our topic for today is kinetics of rectilinear translation analysis as a particle. So we are going to apply Newton's second law of motion that is F net equals MA. So for this specific topic, we are going to apply the general equations of kinetics applied to translation which are summation of x equals w over g times a which is similar to f net equals ma so instead of m we use w over g and instead of summation of forces or f net we are going to use summation of x also we have summation of y and summation of z equals to zero for the meantime we will not yet use summation of z because that is only applied to 3d forces so for our problem number one, so from again from the book of Ferdinand Singer, chapter 10, and problem number 44. So we have an elevator weighing 3,220 pounds. So we have here an elevator 200 by like 300. 20 pounds so that is uh, the weight of the elevator it starts from this so meaning its initial velocity v o equals to zero and acquires an upward velocity of 600 feet per minute so upward velocity meaning the direction of motion is upward In a distance of 20 feet so this velocity will acquire at a distance of 20 feet s s equals 20 feet okay. so if the acceleration is constant constant what is the tension in the cable so the required here is the tension in the cable that has denote that unknown as t so if this is your elevator, uh, let us put uh, T here or the tension. So this is the unknown tension. So, using our formula, so summation of X equals MA or W over G times A. So we have summation of X. So since the direction of the elevator is upward, we will assume that the upward forces are positive or mostly the positive forces are those uh, forces along the direction of motion. So, so we have here force T, so that is your positive force. And then we have here the weight which is 3,220. So since downward opposite of P, therefore this is negative equals to the value over G times A. So we have the value which is this one. G of course since we have uh, an English unit so we will be using G as 32.2 feet per second square. And A we don't have A. So meaning we need to solve A. So based from the given, we have here V, O, V, and S. So using the kinematic equation of motions, if you will remember our first topic, we are going to use equation number 3, which is, which is V square equals V, O square plus 2, G, S, or 2, A, S. So from here, we have A. So therefore, we can resolve the A here, where A equals, so solve A here, so we have V square or the final velocity minus V O square over 2S. So we have here the final velocity, 600 feet per minute, and V O 0. So for us to solve acceleration, we need to convert this into feet per second because our gravity is 32.2 feet per second squared. 
So just divide it by 60. One minute over 60 seconds. So we have now 50 seconds. Then, add seconds. So, we'll substitute 10 square minus 0 over 2 times s, which is 20 feet. So, this is feet, this is feet square per second square. Feet will cancel, our unit will be feet per second square feet per second square so complete the value of A so we have 10 square over 2 times 20 equals 5 halves or 2.5 feet per second square is our acceleration so therefore we can now solve for the tension so therefore the tension will be so from this equation so we can solve the tension equals so 3 2 2 0 that just transport this on this one so we have plus 3 2 2 0 for the weight over g is 32.2 and acceleration is 2.5 so unit analysis this is feet per second square this is feet per second square also this is in pounds this is in pounds and therefore the remaining units will be in pounds so compute so we have here 3 so to 0 plus 3 to the 0 over 32.2 times 2.5 so that is 3470 pounds 3470 pounds for beginners if you would ask where is S from the figure so here it is, so assuming this is your starting point where the elevator started. So from this point up to this point is your S. The size of the object is not yet considered because uh, we are considering only the object as a particle, an object of point size. Meaning the size of this elevator does not matter. And of course your VO is here and your S is this one. 